you know, as you said, we see a lot of price action and volatility off of trade tariffs, off of the Fed, off of perceived slower growth into next year. So we're seeing a couple of things, actually, a couple of interesting trades right now. So one is is on the bear side. You know, a lot of advisors and investors are looking as, at these sell-offs for short-term opportunities. For example, uh, regional banks is a really good one. So typically a, a steepening yield curve is very good for regional banks. And right now we've seen a collapse in that. We've seen, you know, double-digit mid-team performances in our regional banks bear fund. You know, we see a lot of traders allocating towards defensive sectors like consumer staples. So, you know, consumers will go out and buy what they need regardless of what's going on with trade tariffs and, and the economy. And, and a lot of, you know, flow is going into that space. And, and to that effect, we actually just, just launched an ETF called Need for that reason. We, we do see an allocation to consumer staples. And then, you know, another sector that's interesting right now is also healthcare. It's, it's sort of like staples, you know, people will continue to get sick and, you know, that coupled with the good momentum that's going on in that space, positive M&A activity, you know, positive earnings from CVS, United Healthcare, Lilly, um, you know, an increase in FDA approvals. There's a lot of good and interesting play in, in healthcare as well. So we're seeing some allocations there right now. Well, earlier on in the show, we spoke with Carter Worth over at Cornerstone about some of, some of the charts with regard to not just stocks, but also oil and treasuries as well. He was giving us some of his outlooks and targets. What can you tell us about what you see with regard to that more macro trade, especially with regard to oil and the treasury side of things? Sure. So in, in the last couple of days, so, so, you know, sort of scale back to last week, we saw a lot of flow into our bearish funds that, that track oil and energy. And I think, you know, in this week, this week, we're sort of seeing a reversal. So it's sort of unclear what, what the Russians will agree to in the OPEC meetings today. But I think that oil is, is more or less at a seemingly, you know, all time low for the year, at least. So we hear traders saying that they see some potential momentum to the upside um, as a result of what will come out of OPEC. In, in the next couple of days or so. And then in terms of rates, you know, Chairman Powell has come out and said, maybe we'll take a wait and see approach. Let's see what happens. You know, trade tariffs are actually weighing on the markets. Although the economy is strong, there are, there are some future concerns there. So that might slow the pace at which we see rate hikes. And to that, that effect, you know, traders might look to to purchase uh, inverse treasury bond ETFs, you know, as rate hikes rise, bond prices fall. And even if it's a slowdown, you know, we, we do probably anticipate that rates will continue to rise in the next couple of years. So that's a good way to, to sort of look at that trade.